Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Mm. I should have prepared more for this. When you look at Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, let's get more into gesture drawing. When you look at Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, even with him doing the style guide for DC Comics and therefore doing muscular figures, it's still so obvious to see the, the gesture drawings. In the figures, you can see the very simple, you can see the line of action even in the side view here, and you can see how, you can see the fluidity in the figures, and the muscles just don't look like, it's more muscular than some of the stuff he does, and they do look a little part and piece, but you can still see, you can still see, you can see the line of the chest coming down the middle, and then you can see this half of the torso disappearing into the other half of the torso because there's a twist to the torso. You know, the, because of the running, the torso twists around this way a little bit. And, and that means this arm is coming back around this way too, while this arm is curling back around that way. And then while the bottom torso, you know, this leg, this leg is forward, so the bottom torso is twisting this way, and the bottom half comes around that way. You know, you see muscles here on Superman, but it's still part of one fluid arm, and he keeps it simple as he can, and then adds the parts to show you the muscles as necessary. Same here. Same with uh, same with Green Arrow. You got the curve. That one, that curve shows you everything you need to know about the tricep. Same with the bicep. There's so much information in that curve. You can keep it simple. And, you know, simple line tells you, informs you of everything. You don't need a hundred lines to show you a bunch of information. The, the simple lines that are there are incredibly informative. The, the simpler you are, the more correct your lines have to be. Uh, but still, you can see if you draw a line down the center of the torso, right? And then and you've got the other half and then this, you know, that is... It's very easy to find the gesture drawing. And then you see... It's so easy to find the gesture drawings uh, in these figures. It's so easy to find the line of action. Come right down the middle of the figure there, and then you can see how that carries right on down. That's your line of action in a gesture drawing, which I know I haven't gotten to yet, but we will get to. And this comes down and then curves back around that way. And this is all, and you're, and now when I talk about lines indicating the, that the, your line choices indicate that the body is one fluid uh, unit, you see right here, like his lines all are flowing into the form. That's what I'm talking about here. It's all like, they all function, they all help, it all put together, they all come together to make it one, they all flow into one another in the correct directions to help the body feel like one fluid unit, which it is. Same there. Um, he really masters it with, with the female form, you know. The most simple of all.
again, your your uh, your line of action, and then it continues down for her leg. Here's your line of action, right? And there's there's that arm, other arm coming off, and then you you know you. Building out the torso, there's the other side of that torso. <laughs> here you go, you're seeing the back here. The front comes down and then there's, there it is again. Same. This one's great. The line of action comes down here. So then, you know, if, if we're looking at the, the, the torso here, you got, there's where your head would connect. You got a great twist here. So you got your, sho your shoulder line is up like this. And then the uh, bottom of the torso where the waist is, is way like that. So, you know, if you were to kind of draw your ab, th this is where the upper part of the torso where the rib cage is, is rigid, that can't move. So all the torso twist has to take between, has to happen between the pelvic bone down here and the rib cage. So that all, all that twist is happening right here around the middle. Then you got that great stretch with that arm coming forward and then that shoulder going back. And so, you know, when I talk about that squash and stretch, this, even though technically that rib cage unit seems like it can't move, it does. You know, the clavicle moves in there. It's made to be able to move. It slides around the muscles and the, the bones in the upper back move and slide around. So even though the rib cage doesn't move, the, the arm slides around on that. So, so you can get, you know, uh, it can stretch and it does slide. So the shoulders slide around on that torso, you know, so you have this torso here and the shoulders can slide forward here or they can be here or they can be back here you know same over here and then you can twist that torso so you can make the torso like this and then shoulders coming forward and back so you can get there's so much range of movement here so you should never think of that as i see so many artists making this stuff so rigid you can't think of it as rigid. You have to think of that sack of flour, you know? Here, this is, this is exactly that sack of flour that I talked about. So that sack of flour could be reaching up. Could be stretching, stretching, reaching for something. So, uh, more, more examples. Um, keep wanting to make my lines smaller. I mean, you know, these guys, th these guys, all the guys I'm going to show you, the one consistency about them is that they are simple. They don't add a, a, a hundred lines where ten lines will do, you know. They they add just enough lines, and each line has a very specific meaning. 
and you, and you can find the gesture drawing in every single one of them. And then, you know, the hip bone comes out and then, and you can believe that these uh, guys probably shot reference of their wife or their uh, friends or whatever for so many of these uh, shots. Same here, this is so great. I mean, look at this. So, so we get to the top of the torso here and that's where the arm would come out. And then you have the rib cage, and then it comes in. So you're going to have the end of the top of the torso. But there's a twist, right? So, so torso twist, right? So then uh, for the pelvic area, and then. So if you're using like cylinders to co to construct your figure, there it is, and then that arm comes out of you know it where it's supposed to, and then. You can always find These guys are always simple and to the point, and like I said, you can always find the gesture drawing in the figures. Shoulders are, you can see the shoulders are raised here a little bit, so that, you know, you can, you got this line here Same here, you got your middle line, you got torso twist here. So, so the bottom part of the torso is pretty much in line this way, so we're seeing a straight side view. Yeah, and the top of the torso twists, so we're seeing it like this. So, but the uh, arm is coming forward here. So this is where the hole, where the, uh, the part of the torso where the arm would come out of. The arm is moving forward. So the shoulder is, so the, the bone, the, oh, I forget what you call this, that um, sliding bone on the back there would be, moved over up here rather than further back and then the shoulder muscle is moved forward so that part where it starts is back here and then whoop so if you got form and we add you know form cylinders here circles same deal. And of course, this leg comes right out where it's supposed to. Also, um, a thing I see all the time with some of these other artists uh, the younger guys, I see people that have no idea how clothes behave. That is a great 
place where reference comes in handy. You know, um, drawing from models for four years in art school and having them be clothed a lot of the times helps you learn how cloth behaves. And shooting reference of yourself, you know, even if you don't trace it, you you get to see and understand how cloth behaves, and you don't like I said, you don't have to trace it, but you can see, and then you'll start to get an idea for what fabric does when it bends you know jackets dinner jackets always have padding up here in the shoulders so then when it comes off your shoulders it's always dips like this before there's any wrinkles and then there's a whole bunch of wrinkles and then it gets out here and, and then it always comes straight off the bottom like this this is a person who either shot reference or has drawn from real life so much that he knows how the fabric behaves if you know how fabric behaves then you can draw convincing looking fabric same same here um he's got the the that's actually the sewing on the fabric which affects how fabric wrinkles F fabric really doesn't wrinkle that often where the fabric is sewn and realistically the wrinkles are coming off of you know where the fabric is. and then she's got her sleeves uh folded up right come here and then sure enough comes off the fold there like that also uh from a gesture drawing you got the you got uh she's got her arm And then the torso is, it's an odd angle, but um, it's like an up angle at the upper torso. But you get the idea. Wonderful, even this one, even this is great. The, the torso, there's your line of action. And this is great because uh, the shoulder is up here because she's putting her weight on it. So you can tell that this arm is bearing weight, even when it's hidden behind clothes. And then you can see how the rest of the torso is slumping over like this and curling around. But it all seems like one you know, one unit, one fluid unit, it all works and flows together. I'm sticking with the... Uh, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez for a little longer here. But I'll try to, I'll try to, well, I mean, I could stick with this. All right, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll move forward. I'll keep going. Alan Davis is always